I never planned to be a filmmaker. In fact, uh, I never thought that I'll be a filmmaker. Uh, I came from a, a family of artists. My, my dad is an artist. My grandfather is an artist. In fact, he's one of the architects who had designed um, Manila City Hall. So his name is there also engraved in the Philippine Science High School. My grandfather is one of those. So therefore, art is really runs in our vein. Now, since art really runs in our veins, so I know the aesthetics. I know what is appealing to the eye. So no wonder it's easy for me to, to, to blend myself in, in the uh, industry of filmmaking. Now, as soon as I discovered the beauty of filmmaking, that is the time I have dived in, studied the deeper things about filmmaking, editing, color grading, so on and so forth. You know that, guys. Then, uh, since I have also the, um, the background of writing way back home in the Philippines when I was in college and high school, so it was easy for me to, 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 to produce a film that is a, uh, leaving an impact in, in our society. And I fully believe, and because of this one, um, I can let the whole world know that Filipinos are creative and talented people. And now uh, we can share the world whatever message that we have as Filipinos. I have seen a film that has definitely had encouraged me to be part of theater arts, not as a filmmaker. Because I was in the theater arts before when I was in uh, college. And that film is entitled uh, Sakoko ng Aguila. And it is also based, uh, as far as I know, in the uh, templates of uh, Dekada Sesenta. Uh, sa Koko ng Aguila, definitely, as other people would know, regarding the uh, progressive ideologies of Filipinos and how they battle against the suppression of the government. I, I was a political activist before, but, uh, and through that, uh, my, my horizons were open in regards to the issues of the society. And through that, uh, it made me realize that uh, my art, my work can express my opinion regarding the issues of the societies. And until now, I firmly believe that uh, through film, the art of filmmaking, it is an effective vehicle to uh, convey the message that uh, the world should know and must see. My film title is Panahon ng Ligalig. Uh, this is one of the exciting films that I ever made. It is based in one part of the Philippine history when the Philippines had opened its um, borders and territories for the uh, Vietnamese refugees when Vietnamese uh, have suffered from the, uh, from the war that happened in uh, Vietnam. So some of them had uh, traveled through boat going to Philippines and they landed in Bataan and through Bataan the Philippine government had allocated a place for them in Puerto Princesa which is now called as Vietville. Now in that part of the Philippine history I put in a fictional story regarding two Vietnamese siblings, sisters, Lin and Bin Van Ho. Um, who were eventually adopted by a, the village chief and they were taught of the ways of Islam and so they, they lived there in, in that place and uh, they have loved the people until such time that the government had issued a decree that they need to live now Philippines but fortunately enough that um, uh, Canada and USA had uh, made an initiative of um, sheltering the Vietnamese refugees. So it was really a, um, should I say, a, a heartfelt story how the siblings were removed 
from their sister, Salima, who was the uh, uh, daughter of that the village chief. Uh, it was Salima who had uh, brought up both of the siblings. Uh, I wanted to portray in this film the uh, Islamic, Filipino Islamic way. And I showed also the culture. And it was so, in, so rich in that film that we were able to show. And to mind you guys that uh, we have filmed this uh, movie here in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. So it's, uh, it was not difficult for us to find uh, um, a place where to do it. What was difficult for us is that uh, setting up a, uh, a public market. We set up a public market, we set up a, uh, a, a Muslim house that is, uh, that, that is uh, should I say, resembling a uh, Islamic house back home in the Philippines. We use a certain footages that, uh, that are taken from uh, uh, Puerto Princesa. Uh, my vision in this film is that I really wish that this, this film will be used by uh, educational institutes, even the school, uh, to be a reference in this part of uh, history. And I want the people know that the Islamic culture of the Filipinos are very rich and a lot of things that we can learn from it. I want you to know that uh, filmmaking is not just uh, pressing the record button, editing it and, uh, so that you have something to watch. It is more than that. It is storytelling. It is making you experience or be immersed on that certain uh, scenario. So that you would feel what that character would feel. So that you would know what that character would convey. Because a lot of times that the many issues in life that are very uh, superficial for us. A lot of times that we feel that things that are happening around us are just created by minds that are restless. No. In fact, stories are made so that you and I would get something from it. We would learn something from it. It would help us to develop our character and build our personality. Now, when in regards to uh, Philippine films, I fully believe that we are 100% ready to take over and dominate the filmmaking industry internationally. Please uh, continue, continue to dream, continue to make something that the world had never seen before. Continue to envision. Continue to crave, to crave for more. We are Filipinos. We can do it. We can rise up even in the midst of pandemic. We wanted you to know that uh, it is needful for each and every one of us. Never stop dreaming. Never stop being creative. Never stop letting the world know that Filipinos exist, that Filipinos can dominate, that Filipinos can. Mabuhay ang bansang Pilipinas.